excited to be back with BS Movie News Live. Uh, there's a lot that's been going on in the meantime, uh, so I want to go ahead and address some things. We did start a Patreon and we smashed our first goal, so we're going to be rebranding this show. We wanted to have it done today, but our set totally is not finished today. Like, it's getting bigger and bigger. This set's fucking ridiculous, okay? It's gonna be like a fucking Hollywood hill by, it's retarded, okay? So, uh, and hopefully next week we're gonna have the whole rebranding thing uh, rolling out. And thanks to all my super patrons out there and all my Patreon people, you guys are awesome. Uh, we're gonna make this show like way more kick ass. Let's get started with San Diego Comic-Con, SDCC, man, 2016. It just, it just ended yesterday, and I wasn't there this year. I've been there for the past three years, but I, just, I elected not to go this year uh, because, man, it's just a lot of stress. It's just really stressful, and I'm just so glad that I didn't go because it's just really stressful, and it's, it looks like, okay, look, here's the deal about San Diego Comic-Con, right? It looks awesome, like all the pictures. Like you're gonna get amazing pictures when you go there. Like it's, it's fucking crazy picture land, all right? But the actual being there, it's just hot. It's sweaty, there's people everywhere. And it's like, oh, like it's a lot to deal with. So uh, I, I'm glad I didn't go. And also another reason I'm glad I didn't go is that there was a huge fucking fire in Los Angeles, the sand fire. And on Saturday, the sun was completely covered by a cloud of ash that made it look like we were living in like a Mad Max apocalypse fucking land. I don't know, like the sun was like orange. Like I've never seen light like that. It was phenomenal. My friend Tally and I, we went up, we drove up to the hills, we took some pictures, it was awesome. Uh, so yeah, I'm really glad that I didn't miss that weird natural event. Uh, got, got me ready, it was, like mel it was like living in melancholia if you've ever seen that movie. So, all right. So as we all know, at San Diego Comic-Con, there's a lot of new things unveiled, uh, particularly trailers, but also, side note, Hasbro is making a six inch Dazzler figurine next year. So, uh, <laughs> top story. A lot of you guys on Twitter out there were letting me know about the Dazzler figurine and I'm super pumped. I will be in line to buy it when it comes out because I am a dork for Dazzler. So, all right, uh, there's a lot of trailers going on. So I'm gonna ask you guys, and I'm gonna see like who, who, who's first. I'm gonna look in the, your chat log here. What movie trailer do you want me to review first out of all the crazy movie trailers? I know you're all furiously typing, but then, okay, when, Michael, Michael, you won Wonder Woman. All right, so I watched the trailer and I was like, dang, that looks good. <laughs> I was kind of surprised. Uh, it looked, that trailer looks really great. You know, I mean, again, my whole thing on trailers is is trailers are down to a science now. So like you could have a really great trailer and the movie can still suck. You can have a bad trailer and the movie's great, you know? So I don't know for sure what, what the deal is with the movie, but that trailer looked awesome. I love Chris Pine as Steve Trevor. I did not know he was gonna be playing that role. Uh, and I'm really excited to see him doing that because he's perfect. If you don't know, Steve Trevor is like the first man that Diana ever meets. And he's like this World War II pilot and he like crash lands and then like they fall in love and like he's her love interest, but like she, rescues him all the time. Like he's like a, a damn zur in distress, I guess is the deal. So yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm stoked on this Wonder Woman movie. It looks really badass. It looked really cool. Uh, I love that trailer. So yeah, I'm in. I'll watch you Gal Gadot. We'll do it. I'm excited about it. Uh, okay, so I saw somebody else that was saying Doctor Strange. They wanted me to talk about the new Doctor Strange trailer. And I'm still super pumped for Doctor Strange. Uh, you know, I love magic and weird stuff and the occult and all that sort of crap. So uh, I'm super stoked to see some magic in the Marvel Universe, finally, because they've really been sidestepping it for a long time. Uh, and this trailer, it's, you know, it looks really cool. I will say, I will say, this is my nitpick, me being a nitpicky fucking bitch here. Uh, so I feel like there's a lot of like inception looking thing, graphics going on. You know, it's very uh, Nolan looking, very Nolan looking. And, you know, I feel like, I don't know, Nolan's like not the guy like that's, he's not a magical, I don't know if he's the guy to emulate, you know, to get across magic stuff. So I feel like there still might be a little bit of like, we don't know how to represent magic correctly, so we're just gonna do this. But anyways, but that's just from the trailer. You know, I'm being an asshole. I totally recognize that. So, and I'm just, I'm just precious of this shit, okay? Because I don't want them to fuck it up because I'm like, ugh, like do magic a solid, please. Like, ugh. Uh, speaking of magic, somebody who did do magic a solid, the Fantastic Beasts 
and where to find them trailer has got me fucking pumped. Like I am so fucking juiced. Eddie Redmayne looks, he's perfect. He's perfect for fucking Harry Potter movie. Like he's just, he looks like he just popped right out of that fucking universe. And I loved this trailer. I'm so fucking stoked to see magic in motherfucking America, all right? Like, cause, all right, Harry Potter's great. I love Harry Potter, but that shit's like, you know, I never, I've always wondered like, what does the wizarding school in America look like? You know, like, I don't know. I even went online and I did this quiz, a Pottermore quiz for like the American school. And I got like Wampus or something, which is like some six legged cat house. Like I'm totally slithering over at Hogwarts, but in America I'm some Wampus thing or something. I don't know. Uh, so I'm excited to find out what, what that means. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but I'm super stoked on the Fantastic Beasts deal. Uh, it looks friggin' awesome, so that's great. Uh, let's see here, we got a new King Arthur movie. A trailer for that came out. Guy Ritchie is directing it. It definitely looks like a Guy Ritchie directed King Arthur movie. I will go check it out for sure. I don't, I'm not like, I'm like neutral on it. Like I'm not like, oh, I can't wait, but I'm not like, oh, it looks terrible, you know? So we'll see. I hope that we get some, you know, more magic shit. I hope, I love magic, all right? The fucking wizards are the best. I hope we get some Merlin business. I, I didn't, I was a little frustrated because I didn't see anybody who obviously looked like Merlin in the trailer because I'm like, I love wizards. So I hope we get some Merlin business going on. Uh, you know, we'll see, we'll see. Then what else, what else we got going on? Okay, so we had the, the Lego Batman trailer came out and uh, I loved the Lego movie. Like I really, like I own it on Blu-ray. That's how much I love the Lego movie and I think about it a lot. And Lego Batman is just, I'm so fucking stoked. I am so excited for Lego Batman. Will Arnett's voice is so perfect. It's so cute and fun. And like, I love when Alfred's just like, Batman, you can't just stay up all night and wear black all the time. You know, it's just like so cute. I love it. Yeah, it's, it's Alfred's totally his parent, but then like Bruce Wayne is like grown up and he's just still acting like a weirdo. And that's the thing. That's what I love about Batman is like, you know, it's this movie is such an antithesis to what we've seen in the DCEU. And like, you know, he's so serious, you know, everything's so serious in the DCEU. And then in this, it's like kind of poking fun at like how ridiculous Batman is. Cause he is kind of ridiculous. He's kind of an asshole. Like he's kind of ridiculous. So uh, I'm super stoked for the Batman movie. I freaking cannot wait. Uh, Robin looks adorable. I, I'm super stoked on him. Like I'm, I'm ready. I'm any and all Lego movies, like lay them on me. Like I'm fucking ready. Uh, so let's go on to the Justice League movie. Uh, we saw the trailer for the Justice League deal, and I mean, it looks like a lot more fun than Man of Steel, and it looks like a lot more fun than BVS. So, you know, I'm excited that we're having more character interactions. Uh, I think that that's giving me some hope for this, you know, it's and they're definitely, I feel like they're trying to kind of get away from the uh, heaviness of what they were doing before. Uh, do you bleed? Uh, like I, you know, I like to see a little bit of jokes in there. Although, you know, I, there was some. It's you know, I'm still not totally on board with this Justice League thing. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I felt like they were trying a little too hard. Like especially with Aquaman. You know, like they were trying so hard to just like he's a badass, and it's like, you know, me thinks thou doth protest too much. You know what I'm saying? Like you can make him badass. Like you don't have to go out of your way to make him badass. It makes me think that you don't think he's badass. You know, if you're going this hard. So we'll see. Uh, Bruce is just fine with letting everyone know he's Bruce Wayne in this, and he's not like, hey, you know, I'm Batman. Like fuck you. I don't know. We'll see. You know, it's Justice League. Uh, let's see here. Moving on. We also have Blair Witch. There's a new. Blair Witch thing, and uh, full disclosure, I saw Blair Witch when it came out. Uh, I think I, I think I saw it in the theater. I saw it in the theater at the Hollywood 18 uh, in Huntsville, Alabama. The thing is, I've never been camping, even though I'm from Alabama. I've never been camping, so it really didn't scare me that much. I don't know. I wasn't that like insanely scared by this movie, and so I've never really loved this franchise. And the thing that killed me in this trailer, the thing that fucking killed me in this trailer was it says, and I quote. A new beginning for horror films. A remake of an old movie is a new beginning in horror films somehow. Like, oh my god, like, fuck it, I feel, oh, I can't even say that I'm a horror fan anymore, because I used to say when people ask, what's your favorite type of movie? I'd always say, horror movies, right? But I can't say that anymore, 
because there's like no horror movies that come out that I like anymore. Like they're all just garbage movies. Like I don't know what's happened to that genre. It's totally fucked. I gotta turn it around. I need to like really, like I don't know, rent a cabin and like take a bunch of drugs and like write a fucking script for a new horror movie or something because like we gotta do something guys because this is just sad. Uh, all right, next up we have King Kong or Kong Skull Island. And I'm super excited to see John Goodman back. I really enjoyed seeing him in uh, Cloverfield Lane. So more John Goodman, I'm super stoked on that. Although, I don't know, I have like these really weird visceral, visceral reactions to King Kong. And these are, again are based on totally personal weird issues that I have. I'm really upset when we watched. Yeah, T-Bone, T-Bone put on the last King Kong movie with Naomi Watts and everybody uh, the other day. It was like on TV. And I was like getting like really upset at it. And I was, I was just getting really, really upset at watching this movie. And it just like... I can't root for the humans in this, okay? Because I want King Kong to kill all of them because he's just chilling on his motherfucking island doing his own thing, okay? And then these goddamn asshole humans come over and then steal him away from his habitat and then make him perform stupid tricks for people on a stage. Like, I feel like he's very much an icon, like a symbol for nature, you know? And I, I'm tired of seeing like, man and we gotta triumph over nature and fucking make it do stupid stuff and ruin everything you know and it's just like they can't have one island where you have some people that are just chilling and they they worship their monkey god and like it's fine like so you know i don't know i've got some personal issues going on here i can't root for the humans okay like i can't do that and so when i was watching this trailer it doesn't really say what the conflict is like i'm not entirely sure why they're at skull island or what the deal is i think john goodman has led them there on some pretense but, and I don't think that it's about them bringing him back to do shows with him or whatever this time around. But again, I found myself reacting kind of violently towards the imagery of like all these soldiers and this fire and these guns juxtaposed to like the natural beauty of like, and the, the brutal beauty of Skull Island, you know? It's like, I don't want to see soldiers in Skull Island shooting up prehistoric animals like I don't want that so I don't know we'll see I've heard I've heard that Jason that he is gonna live to fight Godzilla and that there's gonna be I heard that and like I'm down with Godzilla and King Kong fighting because they're two elementals you know like they're both very like they're like gods almost you know they're these I don't know they're down I'm down with them fighting have you seen Godzilla but, King Kong from the early 80s? I have not seen Godzilla versus yeah, King Kong I have missed that one I wasn't really like a big kaiju lady when I was younger growing up. I was like, I mean, I was down with it, but I wasn't like, uh, I didn't like seek it out. You know, I didn't seek it out. Uh, and so, yeah, I think that's it for our...